All right, the emails continue. It's like an organized live stream. I guess that's what I look at it like. I get to answer questions, but more organized. All right. Next one I got here is closing process on home purchasing using crypto. Okay. Okay. Uh, what's up, Lou? What's up, Tori? Okay. All, uh, all is well. Everything's good. Thank you. Same with you. I hope everything is well with you. Do you think the closing process will be immediate given the voluntary the volatility of crypto? Either party can put the deal on depending on the price fluctuations. Okay. Either party can pull the deal depending on the price fluctuation. Thanks. Um, it all depends. Like I, I give you an example. When you look at, let's say you're closing a deal, and I can I can give you an example on currencies outside the United States that are also volatile, because you can say I'm going to buy this condo, this penthouse at this day at this amount of money, and then but the project isn't completely done, and let's say for six months, and then six months comes and there's a price deviation. The best way to do it is this: on the contract, and you'll have an attorney write this out for you, but this is how I would frame it: at the time of closing the buyer will transfer to the seller the set amount price of whatever in, let's just say XRP for a hypothetical or Bitcoin, whatever. Um, and then you could put right there, you know, the, 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 the little stipulation there that price fluctuation between this dollar amount and this dollar amount is acceptable considering the daily volatility. And then you might have to a little bit to pay a little bit up, or maybe you wind up paying a little bit down because you might strike that deal, and all of a sudden your coins are worth more. So even though you're paying in crypto XRP or Bitcoin, remember you're doing it at a set dollar amount or set euro amount. So even though you're paying with coin you're setting the coin to the dollar amount. So at the time of closing, I will transfer to you from buyer to seller, the set amount in you know, cryptocurrency, XRP or Bitcoin, whatever, at this dollar amount. So you, what you're having to do at that moment is transfer that dollar amount. And you could do that from, blah, 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 blah. can I get your co wallet? There you go, I'm transferring this amount, click, and guess what? You transfer over, let's say, four hundred thousand. There's the confirmation, four hundred thousand. Everything is done, and then when everything is done, you and the and the seller and the attorneys sign, and everything is completed, and you got proof of the transaction that was done. So even though you're paying with crypto, it is still going to be set on the contract on the crypto being worth a dollar amount a fiat currency amount. That's what gives it the stability because at the time of closing, you're giving that person that amount in crypto, as I said, dollars. So you don't want to say, I'm going to give you, I don't know, 10,000 coins. No, what you want to do is, okay, the house was listed for 450,000. At the time of closing, I will transfer to you the equivalent of 450,000 in Bitcoin, in XRP or in XLM. This way, even though it's coined, it will set at the time of the transaction at that dollar amount. And when you transfer it over, it will confirm that. You understand? It's coined, but it's cash. I hope that helps.